The elections may be over, and the new uh, lawmaker elects will soon take their respective seats at the National Assembly. But investigations on how they got there are just beginning. Over a hundred lawmakers have been booked with potentially violating election laws, and if found guilty, they could be stripped of their new titles. Kwon Jang-ho has this report. As the dust settles on the general election, it seems a new storm is in the forecast. State prosecutors announced on Thursday, a day after the April 13th general election, that they have booked 104 elected lawmakers for violating election campaign laws. That's more than one in three lawmakers elect. If any of them are found guilty, they could lose their seats and be given a prison sentence as well as a minimum fine of around 900 US dollars. The charges include negative or slanderous campaigning, bribery and manipulation of public opinion through social media and opinion polls. The investigation covers over 1,400 people who were involved in the general election, such as campaign managers, accountants and family members. Compared to the 2012 parliamentary elections, this is an increase of over 30 percent. That year, almost 1,100 people were booked, and 79 of them were elected lawmakers. Of the 79, 30 were indicted, and 10 eventually lost their seats. Currently, the leading parties are separated by one seat. We don't know who and which party are involved, but the implications of the investigation could be big. The nature of charges have changed since 2012, with a decrease in bribery in particular. On the other hand, there has been a marked increase in tampering with opinion polls and social media marketing. It's a commercialization of politics and the situation is pretty bad compared to other countries. The National Election Commission is working to root out corruption through election laws, but it's still a work in progress. The prosecutors have promised to move swiftly as they only have six months to present the cases before the statute of limitations on the charges runs out. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.